we are back. What's up, Hall of Famers? Card Shop Eric here, back at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Arcadia, California, getting ready to execute our 2019 Topps Allen and Ginter half case group break on release day. This is exciting. This is uh, one of the more uh, fun and different products that Topps puts out. Should, we should be able to see a lot of fun stuff come out of here, hopefully. Some interesting cards, some different stuff, maybe autographs, relics, rip cards, printing plates, book cards, all that kind of stuff. A uh, quick thank you to everybody who did jump in and support us by uh, picking up a spot or, or more uh, in this group break. I uh, tip my cap to, you, cap to you guys. Thanks very much for your support. We, we do appreciate that. Uh, right at the top here, we're going to take care of some quick business for the participants by randomizing the slots. Let's switch over to the random screen right now. I see everybody checking into the group chat. I'll uh, check in with you guys after I get done with business for the participants. So here is our list of participants in the order they bought in. We're going to start by rolling the dice as usual. Dice comes up with a six, so we're going to randomize this list six times. And again, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but whoever gets the top spot in the randomizer, a little bonus. You also will get all of the non-sports cards in this break. That's potentially a huge bonus because uh, there's some really desirable and collectible non-sports cards as well as non-sports autographs and any of those great cut signatures. Uh, Stan Lee or Lucille Ball or Leo Fender or Harrison Ford or anybody like that will go to the top spot in addition to the team they get matched up with. So keep your eyes on this part right here. Let's randomize this six times, starting with one, two, three, four, five, and keep your fingers crossed. Who gets the top spot? Six. Ryan F. gets the top spot. Uh, that's funny. I believe that's Ryan F. who does our t-shirts and I think he's a local guy I think he's coming in today to bring us our new run of t-shirts that we got so he's gonna be happy to hear that that's for sure congrats to you Ryan uh, let's see who gets matched up with which team right now here's all the MLB teams in alphabetical order as usual we're gonna roll the dice one more time dice comes up with a 12 big number 12 so let's do this right now. One, two, three, four, five. This is a long one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this one's super randomized. That's all right. There you go. 12. We copy and paste that into the spreadsheet. You guys can check it out for a minute. So there it is. There is the randomizer. You guys can screenshot that if you want or uh, quickly write down the teams that you got. Uh, I always like to look to see who got the Dodgers, and that was Attila. All the way at the bottom is where the Dodgers ended up. Michael O got the Yankees. That's a cool team right there. Who got the Angels? Let's see. Uh, Michael O also got the Angels. Um, that's cool. Let's see who got, uh, I don't know, Ivan got the Braves. A bunch of good teams up in here. You guys can screenshot that real quick. Um, if you come in late, just feel free to ask us, and I'll try to uh, find your name on the list and tell me and tell you which team you got matched up with. For now, let's go back to the regular screen. There we go. Back on the regular screen here, folks, and we're going to get into Topps, Allen, and Ginter. I got six boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, six right there. Um, somebody pick a number, one through six. First person to type in a number, one through six, and I'll pick that box out, and we'll start there. I'm looking at you guys. Somebody out there, Mike E. picks the number three, so we're going to go with this box back here number three is where we're gonna start 
And uh, as I'm getting into this first box, I'm going to do some location shout outs. We are located in Arcadia, California, but we always like to know where you guys are located when you're watching right now. Type your location down. I'll shout out a few names as, uh, as they all start to pop in here. We got Turbo in Davenport, Bubble Pug, what's up, Wisconsin, uh, MLB fan in Toronto, Aaron, what's up, Aaron, in uh, YA, I'm not sure what YA means, uh, we got Jay in Glendale, uh, Aaron in VA, okay, that's Virginia, Bradley, what's up, Arizona, Lewis in Puerto Rico, Isaac in Alexandria, Bryson in Australia, good day, mate. Uh, we got Ivan, what's up, Ivan, Riverside, uh, we got Nugget in Texas, and uh, Ma Kwan and Compton. We got a lot of people checking in. O Medallion in Connecticut. Wild Boys in York, Pennsylvania. Nice to have y'all. Here's the box topper. We got a box topper in every box. <clears throat> Let's check out this box topper real quick. While I'm checking out this box topper, someone type in a number one, two, or three, and I'll start with that stack. What's up, Cubs designer in Taiwan and Bodie in uh, England? Nice to have you guys. Uh, MLB fan typed in number one, so we'll start with stack number one for you. And the box topper is uh, Bryce Harper. They call these N43 cards, N43. They're a little bit different shape than the regular baseball cards. I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now as we get into this first pack of Allen and Ginter. Uh, card shop Matt is supposed to be here today, uh, but he's running a little late, I guess. Uh, hopefully he'll show up in a little bit. Look at this guy. His name's Rox. This guy rocks. This reminds me of the guy who I met at uh, the Lord's Cricket Ground in London. If anybody watched my vlog video from London when I went to the cricket match, and towards the end I, I spoke with this really nice guy, kind of had hair like that. <laughs> that's a fun way to start. So that's, that's some of the non-sports cards that uh, Ryan F. will be receiving in addition to his team he got matched up with. Uh, we got Ottavino right there. Also, don't forget about the Allen and Ginter mini cards. We might find some rip cards, some mini parallels. Who knows? Uh, we got Matt Kane. We got uh, Gary Carter. That's a nice shot of Gary. Look at this. This is different. Let me put these back real quick. Check this out. A little borderless uh, picture card of like a little seaplane here. History of Flight, Supermarine. That's cool. A little borderless, borderless picture cards. Those are nice. Those are also going to Ryan F. That bonus, that bonus spot is really cool. Check that out. There's a Pete Alonzo rookie card in the first pack. And Steve Carlton together rounding out the first pack. A couple nice names there. That's pretty cool. One pack, we got uh, three hits per box on this, folks, and uh, 24 packs per box. So this should be a pretty uh, hefty break here. Strap in your seat belts. Uh, let's see, Collecting Attorney is asking, what's the best uh, sleeve holder for the N43 cards? You know, I, I'm not sure. You just kind of have to find something that's going to be fitting it the best. Um, Top of my head, I'm not sure exactly what's going to work. You might have to find some kind of an oversized top loader. Uh, I'm not sure if they make anything that specifically fits that size of a card off the top of my head. Sorry I can't be more help. Here's a nice Roberto Clemente card right there. Greatest to ever hold a bat and ball, it says. That's nice. Beltre and Rosario rounding out that pack. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? It's Wednesday, middle of the week. A lot of people, a lot of kids are probably still on summer vacation. How's the weather in everybody's town? <clears throat> hope, hope the weather's good. It's nice out here and uh, outside out Los Angeles. What's up, Soup? Soup's in the chat right now. He's one of our moderators in the group chat. <clears throat> Don't mess around when Soup's moderating. He will. He he might just kick you out for looking at him the wrong way. Just kidding. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> Here's Altuve, Goldschmidt. Uh, we got oh, there's our first memorabilia, and it's uh, 
This woman, who I don't quite know who it is, Emily Jansen or Jensen? Anybody know who she is? Yama, maybe you could look her up. Emily Jensen, J-A-E-N-S-O-N. J-A-E-N-S-O-N. Oh, here, maybe if I paid attention. It says minor league baseball general manager. Let's find out which general manager she's with. Reno Aces Baseball Club. A nice little swatch right there from something that she wore, I guess. This one has, unfortunately, has a little bit of a ding at the bottom of it. This card's going to Ryan F. That's our first hit. Behind them was uh, Yarbrough and uh, Canseco behind that one. <clears throat> So, could be some interesting stuff coming out of these boxes today. Looking forward to seeing it. Damien says, hey, shop. What's up, Damien? Brian says, what's up, dudes? What's up, Brian? Nice to have you. Rodriguez, Maris, Toussaint, uh, Matt Olson there, Necro. We got Mares and Stallions card right there. We got Mullins and Marquez rounding out that pack. Soup says that Canseco is pretty cool. Yeah, that was a neat looking card. Johnny Keller says, hey, shop, I'm from Illinois. What's up, Johnny? Thanks for tuning in, man. Nemo, Ford, Ramirez, Judge, Polanco. King Arthur's sword, incredible equipment. Yeah, I'd say it's incredible. Has anybody ever been to Disneyland and tried to pull the sword out of the stone? Rumor has it that sometimes they, uh, like, sometimes the sword actually unlocks and, like, will pop up a little bit. Soup, maybe you can confirm or deny if that's true. It's never happened to me. I've just heard rumors of it happening. Does that really happen? Does the sword sometimes kind of unlock so people can pull it a little of the way out? Curious. While Soup's thinking about that, I'm going to tell you guys real quick, if you missed out on getting into this break, uh... There were a couple other products that were supposed to release next week that Topps pushed back. So the next Topps release is Topps Chrome, July 31st. And we just put up a Topps Chrome Jumbo full case group break. Now these are about uh, 225. They're probably going to be, you know, down the line about $250 a box, eight boxes per case, five autos per box. Um, so if you want to jump into that, that should sell out pretty well. Um, it's not cheap because it is a jumbo case, um, but there is free shipping. You want to jump in, $59.99 a spot, free shipping. Jump into that Topps Chrome Jumbo full case break. That should that will be a lot of fun. I'm not going to say it should. And on that note, Soup says negative on that rumor from what I know. So, okay, maybe that's just a rumor. But, hey, here's my boy Ricky. That's a cool card. Kind of a neat card. I wonder who's got the uh, Oakland Athletics in this break. That's Attila. Attila, I'm not sure if you're in the chat right now, but uh, maybe we can work out a trade for any uh, Allen and Ginter Henderson cards that might come out. One of the things I like about Ricky Henderson is his base cards aren't super expensive. So I can usually get a hold of them for pretty cheap and make, make some uh, easy, fair trades with people that are willing. So I might be hitting you up, Attila, if I don't uh, see you in the group chat today. For any Ricky Henderson cards. Uh, 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 Preston says, shop, what's up, man? What's up, Preston? <clears throat> Here's Puig, Davis, Oliva, Allen. There's a Papillon collectible canines mini right there. Harper, baseball star signs, Rosario, and Bogarts. By the way, if you're interested in picking up Allen and Ginter, it just released today. And we do have boxes up on our website. Pick up a box, three hits, beautiful cards, a lot of fun stuff. It's really collectible. Um, it's only $99.99 a box. Hall of Fame. Here's uh, AJ Andrews. Um, she's a softball player, really cool. I follow her Insta, actually. Really cool athlete. In 2016, she became the first female to win the industry's most prestigious fielding award 
in, in recognition of her excellence on the softball diamond. Hey, there's a look at the Mike Trout, Allen, and Ginter card right there. Wouldn't you love to see one of those signed? That would be a nice signature, just like black right across there. That would be so sick. Dave Winfield looking hardcore right there. He's not messing around. What you talking about, Willis? Kind of has that kind of face going on there. Lips out. Miniature horse. Okay. Dozier and there's your first look at the Kershaw, Allen, and Ginter right there. That's a nice little artistic portrait. ZZ Games says, I'm going to see the Winnipeg Gold Eyes and the Sioux Falls Canaries play tonight. Do you know those teams? Uh, I'm not really knowledgeable in minor league teams. Um, Canaries, that sounds familiar. Sioux Falls Canaries. But I hope you have fun, man. I know minor league games are a lot of fun. Jackie Grandal, Tony Gwynn, Mike Piazza, mini right there. That's cool. Got uh, Doolittle, got a little another Stallion there, and uh, who's Steo here? Let's check out Steo real quick. While most youngsters like to emulate their favorite athletes, Steo has a different on-field obsession. The boys in blue and black. The 10-year-old North Carolinian has become a favorite of umpires everywhere because of his passion for their profession. When he attends games, he wears a mask and a ball pouch and sits as close to the action as he can to mimic the ump's calls while studying their mechanics. Vincent Steele. Got his own card. Congrats, bud. Still looking for our second hit. I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in this stack right here. Tim English says, what's up, card shop? Eric, I got your name right today. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. I hope you know I was just messing with you last week. But uh, that is one of my... That is one of my things, you know. Eric's, um, you know, I usually like to correct people. Uh, we got another, let's see, we got a uh, Dachshund Mini and another one of those portrait cards right here. That looks like the, uh, what's the name of that plane? The, uh, it was popular in the, the Concord. There we go. Yes, that's right. I couldn't remember the name. Concord. We got Roger Clemens and Mayumi Seto. Uh, if you guys don't follow Mayumi Seto on Instagram, you should check her out. She does all the tops. Um, what are those artist painted cards that they release three at a time? I forget what those are called right now. Anybody remember? But she does all the artwork for those. It probably says on the back. Let's see. Tops Museum, Tops Gallery. Also, Topps Transcendent from 2016, the, the Living Set. Maybe that's the one. The Topps Living Set. Yes, Daniel Hamilton. Thank you. You got it. Which debuted in 2018. That's a nice set. She's a great artist. Check her uh, Instagram out. Still looking for that second hit. Fortnite Dudicorn says, if you'd be able to pull a card, who would it be? That's a good question. You know, I, I asked that question in our pack preview. And I'm going to ask it again to anybody watching right now as we check out this Daryl Strawberry mini card right there, Tulowitzki and Strasburg. If you could pull anybody's cut signature from this product, living or dead, who would it be? That's a good question. Uh, I might have to go Jesus Christ uh, just because. I'm a big fan. Yeah, that would be sick. I wonder what his autograph would look like. Maybe he just signs it with a J. JC. That'd be kind of dope. <laughs> what about you guys? What are you guys saying? Let's see. Theoden Corey says Stan Lee. Isaac says La Tortuga. Arnold Master, Mike Trout. Raphael says Koufax. Jason says Lincoln. That's a good one. Aaron says Clemente. Zev says The Babe. That's another good one. Hayes says Giannis. Daniel says Kirby Puckett. Dave Alfrey says Al Capone. That's a cool one. Um, Wild Boy says Pete Alonzo. Soup says he wants to pull his own autograph. Uh, Soup, did you sign any cards for this set? I don't think you did, but I don't think Jesus Christ signed any cards for this set either. So, But that would be cool. I'd love to see Soup's autograph in any uh, product one of these days. Would you sign it Soup or would you sign it Louis or Luis or whatever? How do you sign your autographs? I don't, I don't remember. I think you usually sign Soup, don't you? There's Rod Carew. 
Hall of Famer, Rod Carew. He converted. Uh, Cespedes Family Barbecue. That's funny. Mini. Turner. Dan Rather. Uh, Cepeda. Frank Thomas and D. Gordon rounding that out. <clears throat> Tim English says he wants a card shop Eric autograph. That'd be kind of a cool little thing if I got my own card in Allen and Ginter. That'd be fun for me. Um, hey, there's a Ricky. Oh, look at that. Back-to-back -back Ricky Hendersons. Hey, that's cool. Look at that. And a hit of Miguel Andohar. All right, I'm going to put these base cards to the side and check these out. So here's a mini Ricky Henderson right here. Attila, I'm going to put that in the stack. Maybe we can do a little trade. By the way, if you're interested in trading, we do have a Facebook trading group. It's all ages. It's free to join. You just have to request to be added. Just go on Facebook or go on your, your mom's or dad's Facebook page and search HOFBC Trading Group and hit a request. So here's that Miguel Andahar. It's got a little bit of a pinstripe on it there. This is a genuine Topps Allen and Ginter relic that features memorabilia from Miguel Andahar. Louis sa or Soup says he signs it Louis with a shielded S in the middle. Shielded. What does shielded mean? Shielded. I'm trying to think. I'm not sure what shielded means. <laughs> Yama says, like a shield, obviously. So we're working some kind of a shield. That one, that you know, three lines. Gray, Jansen. I might start moving a little quicker through these and just pull out uh, some of the, Hey, here's the host of the original Double Dare show. If, you, if you're uh, closer to my age, you remember Mark Summers and you remember the original Double Dare. I always wanted to go on that show. Anybody watching right now that remembers the original Double Dare? They always had that one uh, where you had to like reach up the big nostril and pull oh, yeah. and pull the flag out of the big nostril. Daniel says love that show. Cam Vet says yeah. Martinez, hey, there's Rodney Mullen, famous uh, skateboarder, one of the originators, originators of trick skateboarding, right there. Uh, Eddie Murray, Sale. Yelich, baseball star signs. Uh, chili pepper eating, man. I might read the back of that just for fun. Schwartz, who's Schwartz? He's got some nice hair. Ben Schwartz. Uh, entertainment industry, actor, comedian, producer, director, voice actor, improv, book author, Emmy winning writer. Okay, nice hair though. Should win an award for that hair. Check out chili pepper eating real quick. Those who can't stand the heat should steer clear of chili pepper eating contests, which test spice tolerance more than they do speed. Famous competition held in the English town of Clifton. 17 round challenge featuring a variety of piquant peppers. That is something that I don't know if I'd be able to do. Fortnite Dudicorn says, "Shop, have you ever pulled a one of one ever?" In our last, in our last break of uh, archive signatures, we pulled three one of ones. Clemente Knight, Albies, Kaline, Stanton, another picture card there. These are so nice. Let's just real quick get a close up of this. Look at that. Pretend like we're flying in that airplane real quick. It's like a Bob Ross painting. That would be a sick cut signature, now that I think about it. A Bob Ross, Bob Ross. cut signature. You guys know who Bob Ross is? He's that uh, now famous uh, public television painter with the big afro. Very calm, cool, and collected. I love Bob Ross. I used to watch that program as a kid, and now I watch him on Netflix. Bob Ross is a legend, says Quentin. There's Devers, Cousins, Matthews, Donaldson, uh, Pujols, Jones, and Barrios. <laughs> Ivan Arroyo, thanks for the, the $2 super chat. He says, Double Dare Physical Challenge. The Physical Challenge was uh, 
That was the, was that the one when they were like heads up, and they and they had to answer a question, or if they couldn't answer the question, they could opt to take the physical challenge, yeah. and if they didn't get it right, they would get slime dumped on them. Yeah. Is that what the physical challenge was, or something of that nature? Ivan knows the the show though. Thanks, Ivan, for that super chat. Appreciate you, buddy. Look at this. <laughs> Here we go. How about a card of oh, the egg. egg. Just egg. He's not even the egg. He's just egg. He's like Bono or Sting. How was that Instagram post? Weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't even want to read the back of that right now. We'll leave that to Ryan F., who got all the non-sports cards. Something about Kylie Jenner. That's why I lost interest. Sorry, folks. Reggie Jackson. This looks like Reggie Jackson from uh, the Naked Gun movie. Ivan and, and people, other people my age, of course, probably remember the Naked Gun movies with uh, Leslie Nielsen. The first one featured uh, Reggie Jackson and O.J. Simpson was in it as well. Reed Foley, Ichiro, Seaver, Kane, Horse, Arenado, and Burns. Daniel says they had to shoot water into a bucket or something if they didn't get it in a certain amount of time. The other team got the points. Yeah, stuff like that. That was a fun show. I loved watching that show. Puig. Another little art card there. Real Muto and Herrera. This is just box number one out of six, folks. Stick around. we got a lot of boxes to go. And uh, may I remind you, we do like to see how many likes we might get during a live screen stream. If you haven't hit that little thumbs up below the video, hit that thumbs up right now. Hit that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get during this live stream. Can we get near 100? 101 is our is our personal record during a, that was like a two and a half hour live stream. I'm not sure if this one's going to be that long. This one will probably be a, an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the speed that I can rip. Dominic says that his favorite player is Aaron Judge. That's cool, Dominic. Judge is a beast, of course. Nolan Ryan. German Shepherd. Ted Williams. Here's another hit behind Mr. Williams here. It's going to be a framed auto or relic. What do you think? Here we go. Mookie Betts, framed relic. Mookie Betts, framed relic. Uh, by the way, I forgot to shout out the uh, owners of those previous cards, I think. Uh, Boston Red Sox in this break belong to Stephen T. Congrats to you. That card's coming out to you. Earlier we saw Miguel Andahar, Yankees. I said Yankees earlier at the beginning of the break, but not when they hit. So this was Michael O. And then the, uh, so that was all three, all three hits in that box were all relics. And the one on the left is going to the bonus spot for Ryan. Top spot. Deerfield baseball card says I got a Peterson relic out of Allen and Ginter. That's cool. Deerfield, are you located in Deerfield, Illinois, by chance? Shoemaker, Darvish, uh, Pied Piper's Pipe, and Sandberg. Somebody pick a number one through five, and I'll pick the box next, That the uh, first number that comes up. Deerfield's located in Florida. Cam Vett says three. One, two, three. It's going to be this one right here. I just wondered if you're in Illinois because my dad's from Deerfield, Illinois. That would have been kind of neat. Thank you. Somebody pick a stack. One, two, or three as I get into this... Uh, Box loader card. I believe there's autograph versions of these as well. You never know. Could get lucky. If I can open the pack correctly. Hayes Gatlin picked stack number one. Here's a Miguel Cabrera N43 card. Stack number one it is. Dave Alfrey is predicting a big autograph out of this box. I hope you're right. 
Good Doc Gooden just got in a little bit of trouble, I heard. That's some sad news. Aaron Nola, Achilles Armor, Helton, and Perez right there. Spencer's asking about the Allen and Ginter giveaway. Uh, if you were paying attention to that video, the giveaway winner will be pinned on Monday. So hang tight. There's AJ Andrews again. Stewart, Bader, Kaline, and Baez. Gallo, Flaherty, Hoffman, Rocks once again. Ichiro. Get a chugging along with a train mini. Kopeck and Brantley. The box looks a little Christmassy, says Lil Miller. Slightly Christmassy, maybe because of the colors, but those are actually palm fronds, I believe, not uh, Christmas trees. So, uh, Robinson, Cespedes, Hunter, Horse, Lindor, and Abreu. Kiermaier. Corbin, Boer, Goldschmidt, Morton, uh, Concord, Crawford, and Feller. Gabe Cards is asking how much a box of Allen & Ginter is. These boxes we are currently selling for $99.99 a box. Good price. 24 packs. Three hits per box. Fun stuff. As you can see, a lot of different stuff in these. There's a relic coming up right here of someone named Carton. I think if I'm seeing that correctly. Augie Carton, brewer and podcast host. My buddy Michael Mondragon would probably like this card, being beer baseball and all. But that's one of those non-sports cards that's going to go to that top spot again. There's a first look at Otani there. Nice little smile for Topps, Allen, and Ginter. I like uh, kind of how the paint just doesn't really fill out the whole card, and it kind of makes a little bit of a rough border. I think that's kind of neat. Let's go with this stack right here. There's eight packs. Somebody pick a number one through eight. See if you can predict the hit. Somebody pick a number one through eight. Cam Vet says eight. First up. You gotta be quick on the button if you want to beat Cam Vet. I don't know. He seems to be on it all the time. Guriel, Bagwell, McGriff, Pedroia, Guriel Mini, Horse, Granky, Brett. Nothing crazy. Look at Wade Boggs' serious mustache going on for this photo. Look at that thing. That thing is not messing around. You can, you can sweep floors with that broom. What's up, Corey? Corey wants me to remind people about personal breaks on Mondays. Corey's been a supporter of our personal break Mondays the last couple Mondays. And that's right, if you want me to open a box of cards just for you, join us on Monday night for personal breaks. And that's what I do. We're there for a couple hours just to open boxes for you guys. We'll probably have some Allen & Ginter boxes available. We'll definitely have some for this coming Monday. Thanks for joining us, Corey. Thanks for your support. Arnold Master is asking me if I uh, 
Heard about the Tops X Lindor box that came out. Yeah, I did hear about that. I haven't seen any in person. I wasn't too impressed with the photos I saw. Kind of reminded me of a simple version of Tops Fire, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but Post Malone, not a huge fan of that guy either. I'll just put him to the side. Bonomo. He looks like he's got a lot of money. I want to read about Bonomo for a second here. Is he a poker guy? Crosby would know if he is. Let's see. Heavy hitter on the professional poker scene since 05. There he goes. Became the first teenager to reach the final table of a televised event, 33 years old. First player in history to rack up more than $40 million in live tournament earnings. Wow. Not a bad job there, $40 million. Corey says, heck yeah, man. Even though I'm in Pittsburgh, I consider you guys my LCS. We appreciate that, Corey. Thanks so much, man. Hmm. Ripken. MP Fox says, Top sent out the redemption from a break months ago. I'll let you know who once it arrives. Which break was it? Was it a mystery redemption or something? DeGrom. Here's another relic. So far, we've got all relics out of this. Jordan Montgomery. New York Yankees getting a little more love. That's Michael O. There you go. Somebody pick a number, one through eight. One through eight. Rue Dog on the button with five. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Let's start with that. Let's see if he can predict a hit. Rodriguez, Nemo, Robinson, Trinan. Cool little jet photo. That's a cool looking jet. Puig, Davis, Allen, Trout, Helicopter, Kenley, Rosario, Bogarts. Machado, Robertson, Carton again, Story, Cepeda, Rivera, Dozier, and Kershaw. Hey, there's Ricky Henderson. That's another, I think that's another, that's another card, base card. All right, Attila, look for me to be contacting you for a possible trade. Rod Carew, Ryan Ortiz, DeYoung. Myers, Murphy, Pollock, Doolittle. Giant Pumpkin got its own card, Blue Ribbon Pumpkin. Lou Gehrig, Lou Ribbon. Marty Clements says, hey, you guys. Two points to anybody who knows what movie that's from. Deerfield, Goon, uh, Deerfield gets it right on the button with Goonies. Kids, if you haven't seen mo the movie called The Goonies, you need to check it out. And you also need to check out this right here. How about a rip card? A, not only a single rip, but a double rip card. Double rip card. 12 out of 20. Piazza on the front, and wow, Posey on the back. Brandon's going to be jealous about this. Brandon's a huge Posey fan. And... Uh, <laughs> Brandon actually picked the uh, six boxes out of the full case for this break. He's going to be super jealous. Um, we might have to flip a coin. Well, actually, it's going to go to the front, to the person on the front of the card, actually, which is Piazza. The back of the card right there has the fine print. That's the fine print. So the front of the card is Dodgers. So this going to the person who owns the Dodgers, which is Attila. 
Attila paying off for you. And if Attila was in here, I'd ask him if he wanted me to rip it right now or not. But I can't rip it without his approval. So this card's going to go right into a sleeve. That's a nice card. If you guys don't know what rip cards is, here, I'll pull it right back out. And this is a double. So you see at the top, there's a little tab right there on that side. And then when you flip it over, there's a tab right there. And what you do, you, you have the decision. You can if you want. You can pull that tab down. It rips down the middle and fold open the page. And there's a little mini card inside on both sides. And it could be a wood parallel, a mini, see at the bottom, mini artist original, if my camera will focus, mini red ink, mini exclusive, mini wood, or mini metal. Those are a lot of fun. That's a sick card right there. A little, a little double rip. I'm going to put that right here in the corner. Nice card. Boom machine activated for sure, Camvet. Brandon, wow, what? See you in 10 minutes, he says. Uh. <laughs> uh, that was that box. We have four more to go. Somebody pick a number, one through four, and I'll rip that box open next. One, two, three, four. While you're uh, deciding on that, I'm going to maybe try to pull up our website and just drop a link to our website. into the group chat. I think I can do that right now. Let's see. So I just dropped a link into the group chat. If you're interested in uh, purchasing Allen and Ginter from us, there's the link. You can click that link. It'll take you right to the page and you can purchase Ginter from us right there. Uh, by the way, Hayes said number four. So we're going to go with box four. That's this one back here. These are upside down. Turn those right side up. Ryan says, Card Shop Eric, love the stream. Thanks for checking in, Ryan. Ooh, we got an oversized box loader in this one. That's cool. While I'm checking out this oversized box loader, someone pick a stack, one, two, or three, and then I'll do that stack next. Ruby Falls. Okay, Ruby Falls. Ruby Falls. <clears throat> Discovered by excavators 1,120 feet below the surface of Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga in 1928, Ruby Falls soon became one of Tennessee's most popular attraction. It's the tallest and deepest underground waterfall open to the public in the U.S., which makes me wonder, I wonder which ones are taller and deeper that are not open to the public. And I believe Cam Vett was first on the button with stack number three, so we're going to start there. Man, I really want to rip that double rip card open. It's not mine to do so, however. JTO says, hopefully you win MVP for softball. If I keep playing the way I am right now, there's a fat chance of that happening, which means negative because I'm playing like garbage this season. But you never know. Last season, I just happened to be seeing the ball a lot better. There's a cool shot right here. Let me, let me check this out. Check this out. That's a cool card. What is that? Like the Challenger or the Columbia or something? Oh, Endeavor. Fifth and final product of NASA's shuttle program, Endeavor. That's a cool card. Nice color. Quentin says, you're my MVP shop. Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Cam Vett says, I'm better than Tim Tebow. Thank you? <laughs> Tim Tebow's hitting a lot faster pitches than I am, that's for sure. Or missing a lot faster pitchers, pitches. 
couple weeks ago, I know Tebow had like three homers in two games or something. Here's a Reggie Jackson relic, a little framed relic of Reggie. That's nice. Angels, Angels Reggie, which belongs to Michael O. Michael O. Genuine Topps AG relic card. Reggie Jackson, that's nice. Hall of Famer. Gary V, Kiermaier, Otani Mini right there, all right. Goldie, Palka, Clemens, Feller, and Torres rounding out that pack. Raphael says the Space Shuttle Endeavor is located in the California Science Center in L.A. That's pretty cool. I think I, re I vaguely remember when they towed it over there. There was, yeah. a, bun there was a bunch of people out. Through the city. Yeah. The big commercial for the toilet Can you imagine going to space? Wouldn't that be a trip? Yamo was just telling me that the guy from Virgin has developed a... Uh, some kind of a, some kind of a uh, airplane that will take people up into up into the uh, out outside the atmosphere for about ten minutes and then drop back down and it costs like what, two hundred fifty grand per seat, right now. But hey, you never know. You know, in another fifty years, you know, a hundred years, that'd probably be a lot cheaper. Some of you kids out there might be able to go to space. You never know. Stargell, Gregorius. Who's going to do the first uh, Instagram live stream or first box break in space? I would love to do that, man. Eckersley had a pretty serious mustache. Babe Ruth there. Guerrero Jr. There's a first look at the uh, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card from this series. That looks pretty nice. I didn't see any autographs of his, did I, on the checklist? I don't. I don't remember seeing his name on the autograph checklist. Got to go pull names for a British Open event. See you guys later. Thanks, Corey. Take it easy, man. Man, let's check out this little art card here. That's I love all the colors on these cards. Brilliant. Really cool. The Bell X1. Ch Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager's jet. That's great. Uh, first to break the sound barrier. Speed of 700 miles per hour, 43,000 feet. Brandon just rolled in. What do you think about that rip card, man? You want to see this That's thing? Awesome. I saw it on the, on the stream. Oh, you were, you were able to watch? Yeah. And, there's... It's a, and Piaf is a Dodger. That's amazing. I know, right? That's a good card. That's great, huh? Double rip card right there, folks, if you guys are just checking in. By the way, if you're just checking in, you haven't hit that like button yet. Hit that like button right now. We're halfway to our new goal of, of likes during a live stream. Just a little personal challenge we like to have. I'm going to show off this Griffey, this Griffey card right here. I like that. A little young Griff. Perez, Palmer, Shih Tzu, Clemente. There's another relic. 
looks like Matt Kane, Lorenzo Kane. Sorry, this one's got another chip on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Well, there's a little bit chippy down there. Lorenzo Kane Brewers. Yeah. Brew Crew belongs to Dave K. There's Lorenzo Kane for Dave K. Credence Wood says, you're my favorite YouTuber. Thanks, buddy. Look at this guy. This guy's like a Bigfoot. It's like they couldn't even find a clear picture of the guy. He's so, he's so blurry. They just caught him out in the wild, and they had to zoom in real far. Robert Oberst, World's Strongest Man Competition. Okay. Deion Sanders. I saw a cool clip today on the MLB Vault page on Insta. Dion and uh, Bo Jackson making plays. Osuna, Horse, Martinet. We don't even want to know really what this is. Who is the voice of Nintendo legend Mario? It's this guy, I guess. I didn't even know Mario talked. Did Mario talk? Uh, somebody pick a pack, one through eight. One through eight, somebody pick a number. Cam Vett on the hot button with five. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Let's see if he chose correctly. Find a hit. Ryan Braun there. Robinson, Trinan. That looks like almost like the Wright brothers playing, but I don't think it is. No. Schwarber, Lindor, Abreu. It's a me, Mario. Where does he say that, though? I don't know, but they did make a live action film that was really, really bad. John Link was on both of You say Kikuchi, rookie right here, Seattle. Nice little rook. Seattle belongs to Michael L. There's Bellinger. Looks like he just woke up. Feller, Musial. Speaking of Bellinger, that guy's got, what, 33, 34 home runs? How many, Emma? 34. 34 home runs. I believe he's, still, he's leading the league in home runs. That guy's bombing. Jeter, Hamels, Buxton, Murphy, Aguilar, Johnson, Pecos Bills, Lasso, and Syndergaard. Bacon Barrel Roll says, isn't Mario supposed to be from Brooklyn? Would love to hear his Brooklyn accent. Hey, yo, it's a me, Mario. What's up? There you go. There's another hit. It's Dylan Batances. Just pulling nothing but cloth. Nothing but cloth right now. I would love to see an autograph come out. New York Yankees with some more love. Jeez, that's, uh, who was it? Michael O. Another one for you, my man. Raphael says Yelich tied him. So Yelich has 34 now, too, apparently. Gallo, Flaherty, Rocks, Robles, Kopech, Brantley. Vasquez, Veritek, Gooden, Nola, Siberian Husky, <laughs> Don Quixote's Lane, Otani, and Helton. Ted Williams right there. That's a nice classic shot. Travis Pastrana. Travis Pastrana does BMX and uh, bike and uh, mo and uh, motocross. motocross. Yeah, that guy's pretty. That guy's pretty serious, man. I've seen him do some serious. First, time to do the first double backflip yeah. on a motorbike. First yeah. double back backflip on a motorbike. That's right. Gil Hodges there. Reggie Jackson. 
Yeah, that guy's living in another world, man. That guy's from another planet. People that do that. There's Piazza. Killabrew. Three boxes left. One, two, and three. Somebody pick a number. One, two, or three. And I'll do that box. Can anyone beat Cam Vett on the button? Hayes Gatlin beats him on the button this time with three. Just barely. All right, another oversized box loader here. Well, I'm getting into this box loader. Somebody pick a stack. One, two, or three. Congratulations. You've just received a box loader of Ron Lacuna Jr. Hey, that's nice. Nice little old-timey photo. It looks like an old Western photo. <laughs> Cam Vett was first with three. Brandon, pick a number one through eight. Seven. Seven, I like it. See if you can predict the hit out of this stack. Tatis Jr. rookie card. He's got sort of a puzzled look on his face there, kind of. Probably why you're wondering why he's in last place in the division. <laughs> Brandon says, probably wondering why he's in last place in the division. There's back to back Harper right there, mini and regular. Another puzzled look on his face. <laughs> Hap, Randy Johnson, Keller, and Reyes. Ma Quan says, what's up, brother? Watching live from my cuzzo's house in Compton. Love your channel, bruh. Thanks, bruh. O'Hearn, Koufax, Palmer, Oberst. Another... I got a sneeze. Oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me. At least it doesn't kill me when I sneeze anymore. After I pulled that muscle in my side a month ago, man, it was killing me when I sneezed. <laughs> Thank you, Cam Vet. Thank you, Grayson. Bench, Sanders, Stargell, Bohr, Palka, Jones, Janet, Urias. Grayson's asking, what does my hat say? It says uh, L.A., it's just the all-black one. I like to rock the sticker on the brim like guys used to back in the day. I'm trying to bring that back. It's not really working. It's just kind of a joke. Gregorius, Feller, K-Line. Another rip card, folks. Another rip card. Thanks to Brandon who picked these boxes out of the fresh case. Another, this looks like a single rip card. Yes, it is. So this no question is going to the Philadelphia Phillies owner, Attila. Attila swooped in and bought like seven spots in this break. Wow, and he gets both rip cards. He gets the double and single rip. This one's number 41 of 75. Wow, that's pretty sick right there. That is pretty sick. I'm going to put this one right over here on this side. Two rip cards. Two rip cards, both going to the same guy. That's what happens when you buy more spots. You get better chances of getting some of the cooler cards, folks. He got literally a 7 out of 30, 7 out of 30 spots. Really increased his odds, and it certainly has paid off for him already. And we still have two and a half boxes left to rip. Another Vladdy Jr. Rook. 
Pee Wee Reese, Quinn, I'm not sure who Quinn is. I don't feel like reading that tiny little print on the back right now. First Tiger Mask. I'm going to read that one, though. Hold on. That looks interesting. I like this picture of Robles with the MLB shirt on. That's cool. Ralph Kiner. We got a horse. Paul Molitor. And Carton. Let's see. This looks like another thing Michael Mondragon would like. Six wrestlers have adopted the Tiger Mask persona since the famous Japanese wrestling character debuted in the early 1980s. All right. My buddy Michael Mondragon, most of you won't know, and I hope he won't mind me mentioning this, but he is a former wrestler. Yeah. If you're interested, I think it would be funny. Go check out his Instagram page. I'll even try to type it into the group chat right now. Let me see. Give me one sec. It's called, uh, let's see, at Disco... Disco Machine. I think that's it. <laughs> go go bother his Instagram page, Disco Machine, and you'll see my buddy Michael Mondragon, who runs the Beer Baseball blog. You'll see he used to be a wrestler, and his name was Disco Machine, and he wrestled with a lot of famous guys in that, uh, what's, the, what's the Mexican wrestling thing called? Uh, uh, Yama? Lucha Libre? Lucha Libre type of thing. Lucha. Traveled all over the world doing that stuff. He's got some very interesting stories, some cool stories about that. Go bomb that Instagram page and, and uh, follow him over there. He doesn't post too much, but maybe if he got a few more followers, it might encourage him to. Let's see. The way the cards rub together is just different than anything. It's the best. Are you talking about these Allen and Ginter? Yeah, they got a nice smooth feel. They do they do uh, sort quite nicely. They feel really good between the hands here. Don't have too many. Actually, I don't think there's been too many cards that have been upside down or improperly collated. It's been really smooth. Sister Sobek, who threw out a nice pitch, a first inning, uh, a first pitch, Fired a perfect strike on a ceremony for ceremonial first pitch. You've probably all seen that one. Here's a Ryan Braun relic. Another relic. Another piece of cloth. <laughs> this time going to uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Milwaukee is owned by Dave K. Milwaukee. Bregman, Robinson, Reese, Rather, Fisk, Sandals, Morton, Clemens. Card shop Matt's supposed to be here. I hope I hope, uh, hope he's alright. Just going through them. I want to find an autograph card, darn it. Newman. Trout Mini right there. That's cool. Rogers Hornsby. I like that his first name is plural. Rogers. There's the hair guy again. And Yaz. Somebody pick a number. One through eight. And I'll grab that pack from this stack. Cam Vett, hot button with seven. You got to wake up pretty early in the group chat to beat Cam Vett on the hot button. Mazzara, Clemente, Arcia, Ryan, Hudson, Airplane, Contreras, and Sandberg, but no hit.
What's up, Slider? Trying to save my voice a little bit. We are supposed to do our half case of Panini Optic uh, this afternoon. However, we haven't gotten our shipment yet, unfortunately. So that break is maybe not happening today. Hopefully it'll come in by the time this one's over. But if it doesn't, we're going to have to reschedule. And there's nothing I can do about that. So if you're in the uh, optic break that's coming, uh, supposed to come up later, just heads up. It may need to be rescheduled. Here's Molina, little relic card right there. Cardinals belong to, if I can find them on the list, I'll tell you. There we go. Michael O. Michael O. Another shout out. Yama's here. He's in the back doing some work, I think. That's Slider. Come up and say what's up to Slider. I don't know if Slider's watching or just driving and listening, but there's Yama. There he is. Quick appearance. Boat, Phillies, Yelich. Oh, Yama, open this package. Hopefully this is what we're looking for. And speaking of the devil, we just got a delivery. Thanks, bud. Hopefully that'll be it. And just like Santa Claus, delivering right on time. Look at that, Santa's sleigh. Ask shall overseas. Just open that package right now and confirm that what's in there is what we need. Oh, Doesn't look like a very big package. Knight, Stanton, Shoemaker, Correa, Koufax. Nice little Koufax there. Hernandez Mini. By the way, pull out that other mini card from back there, Yama. The one you... Uh, By DeGrom. Yeah. I'm going to do this box here. We got two more boxes. By the way, so... Oh, this was Gypsy. So I don't know if you remember back in uh, 2016. You remember back in 2016 when Gypsy Queen had those little like little miniature packs as the the box topper. And so we had a couple of those that I ran across last week or or something like that. Uh, pull out, you know, yeah. Six. Yeah. So we had a couple of those. Yama just opened one up and he pulled a little a little Degrom autograph out of one of those, which is pretty neat. Number 24 of 25. Kind of cool, right? Little Gypsy Queen. Little mini DeGrom autograph right there. That's cool. Just thought I'd show that off. That was an interesting little come up. Cam Vet says, imagine a triple auto of Card Shop, Matt, Eric, and Yama. That would be sick. That card would be worth some dough for sure. Uh, somebody pick a stack. One, two, or three. Hayes says two. I'm just going to grab two. That's fine. There's Al Tuve. Speaking of two, N43 box loader. Chandler's saying, Cam, stop. I think that means they want they want you to give them a chance, Cam. Let the kids play, Cam. Let the kids play. You're too good. You're too good. You need to you need to be bumped up into the uh, senior league. You need to be you need to be drafted up to a uh, major league from Triple A. Just kidding, Cam. Do whatever you want, man. 
Show them how it's done. Show them how it's done, you know? This looks like Matt Carpenter. Another one for the St. Louis Cardinals. This one goes to Michael O. Michael O. <laughs> no need to retire, Cam. You're all good, buddy. Do you. Do you. Snyder, who do you think this guy is? Youngest U.S. wrestler to win a Summer Games gold medal. Larson, I'm not really, it's like a very boring picture, but I'll find out real quick who he is. Jay Larson. Oh, he's a comedian, it looks like. Real funny. <laughs> <laughs> Davis, Oliva, Allen, Rodriguez, Hap, Mini, Babe Ruth, Rosario, and Bogarts. <clears throat> Give me a quick second. Somebody's asking how to get into one of our next breaks. Next break is no joke coming up. I'll paste it into the uh, group chat right now. There's the link. If you want to jump into our next break, it is no joke, though. It is Topps Chrome Jumbo. Five autos per box. It's not for the faint of heart or... The light in pocket. Another Ricky Henderson. Well, you can check it out if you guys want to jump into that. Be sure to uh, join our HOFBC Team Rewards program, and you'll start getting five percent back. You know, every little bit counts, and you can let that that money accrue, save up, and then you can spend it on something. Plenty of people have already done that, and they're happy. Brandon, you're a Team Rewards member, are you not? Yes, I am. Yes, yeah. What do you think about the Team Rewards program? Awesome. Nobody does it. It's spectacular. All right, there you go. He said, awesome. Nobody else doing it. It's spectacular. Uh, yet another relic. I would expect a lot of relics out of Topps Heritage. I know Heritage has a lot of relics, but I thought Ginter had more autographs. I guess I'm wrong. David Dahl, Colorado Rockies. Belong to... Uh, Sean. Sean D. There you go. David D. Meet Sean D. There you go. Dante wants me to explain why there's a card with an egg on it. You'll see a lot of different cards in this product. Not just eggs, but how about a card like this? Horses? It's just part of the Allen and Ginter style. This, uh... This is a throwback product. Allen and Ginter first uh, released cards back in like 1887, I believe. And this is kind of uh, what they were doing. All sorts of just stuff. Just collectible people and things. You know, look at this. There's, there's a couple right here, a couple examples. A Rhodesian Ridgeback canine card on the right. And then uh, Heracles' Club on the left. Some of those are very collectible to people. By the way, we did get that delivery. Let me show you one of those boxes real quick. 
We just got the delivery right here, folks. There it is. Panini Optic. So that group break will be coming up uh, this afternoon, probably around 4 o'clock. Hopefully we'll get it going around 4 o'clock. So if you're into that, we got it in just in the nick of time. It's too bad it couldn't come earlier. But it's finally here, halfway through opening day, or release day, I should say. Grayson's asking, is Panini better than Tops? Well, better is a form of opinion, but the one major difference between Panini Baseball and Tops Baseball is that uh, Tops is officially licensed by MLB, and Panini is not. That's the most recognizable difference. But Panini does do some nice cards. I would love for uh, more companies to be licensed by MLB, but for reasons that they don't tell the public, they just aren't doing that right now. Um, it would be much better for the, the hobby in general, of course, if we had more officially licensed product manufacturers. If, if Panini and Upper Deck were both licensed again, that would be so sick. Upper Deck is the best. Upper Deck. If Upper Deck was licensed again, that would be amazing. Just looking for some hits here. We got one box left after this. And we're going to take a break and come back for Optic. Optic is like the, it's like the, the chrome. It's, it's a very nice chrome looking card. Hey, there's another relic. Wouldn't you know it? This time it's Andy Pettit. Another Yankee. That's Michael O. Right there. That's like five, six hits for Michael O. Man. Sometimes you uh, get all the luck. Alan and Ginter is also a nice uh, set for building sets. A lot of set builders like this set. Because they are very nice, nicely made cards. The card stock is nice. Sharp corners usually. And just kind of nice looking cards. Makes a cool set. All right, let me get one of those boxes just to throw in the background real quick so I have something down. I like to have a little, little bit of something in the background. Last box in this half case. Can we get an auto? Come on, three hits in this box. We should get one auto. I mean, I, I want to get one auto. That would be nice. I don't even care who it is. Brad Keller. Rhino Hearn. Rhino Hearn. Just want to see some kind of a signature card. Box loader of Glaber Torres. Yanks. Forgot about the box loader cards. Those things are hard to ship. Marty Clements already knew I was going to ask, and he put number one, so I'm going to take stack number one. Nice job, Marty. Anticipating. Sean, Sean Reed Foley in pack seven says Wento. Let's see if let's see if Wento's right. If you're right, Wento right now. If there's a Sean Reed Foley autograph card in pack number seven right here, I'm gonna I'm gonna ship you a full box of Allen and Ginter. All right, you saw it here. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Babe Ruth, Drury. Steve Carlton, mini jumping out. Smoke, Dreschel, Ripken, no autograph at all, no hit at all. Nice try. That would have been fun. Yeah, would have been. 
Wow, we got a we got a backwards card here. I wonder what that means. It's Robin Yount. I don't see that it says congratulations, really, but maybe it does. No, it's just backwards. That's weird. That's the first backwards card we've seen in this whole break here. It's kind of interesting. I wonder what's up with that. 352. Is 352 maybe a short print? Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a short print. Short print there. All right. Here's a hit right here. It's framed. Hopefully it's a framed auto. Any kind of a framed auto. I don't even care. One, two, three. No, but it's a bat card. That's a little more interesting than cloth, and it's Gil Hodges. Dodgers legend. Gil Hodges. I'm going to check in a minute to see if it's numbered here. I'm going to sleeve it first. Dodgers. All right. Not numbered. That's cool, though. Definitely cool. Is he a Hall of Famer? I don't think he is. Is he? Gil Hodges? Brandon's saying yes. I don't think he is. Anybody else know out there? Gil Hodges, a Hall of Famer. That's another Dodgers hit. And that was Attila, who's who's got all the luck today. Attila and Michael O are getting all the luck. Gil Hodges uh, played 18th career in Brooklyn, L.A., inducted the Hall of Fame into the New York Mets Hall of Fame in 1982. That's oh. He's in the New York Mets Hall of Fame as a manager, probably, I guess. But not Dodgers? Not as a Dodger, huh? Interesting. I guess he was, according to the to the commission, then maybe is more productive as a manager. I don't know. Yeah, that's odd. He's on the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's, that's a crime. Oh, he's just in the Mets Hall of Fame. Yeah. He's not in the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. He's on the, he's on the, he's on the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame's Golden Era Committee election ballot. What does that mean? So he's he, if he gets voted in, he could he could make it. He was on the 2014 ballot for consideration. 2015, he missed getting elected. So I guess Gil Actually, Hodges he should be on the ballot again soon because it's every three years. Gil Hodges has not been elected to the Hall of Fame, but he's on the ballot. Yeah. He's been on the ballot, the, just hasn't gotten the votes. Hasn't gotten it yet. By the uh, by the committee, not the, he's not voted by the writers. He's voted by a special committee. Oh. Maybe in 2020, I think he's eligible again to get elected. Oz, who's that guy? Anybody know who this guy is? Oz, Alex Rodriguez, Clayton Kershaw, Frank Thomas, Marilyn. Open oh, vintage packs of baseball cards with Oz, whose filmed finds are posted on YouTube. Great, another YouTuber called Oz. Opening packs of cards with baseball legends. Yeah, he does. Uh, Lucky him. I wonder how he gets that opportunity. Yeah, maybe. Oh, open vintage 80s wax packs. Somebody pick a number, one through eight, right here. Grayson with three. Veritek, Robinson, Hader, Nishek, Bonomo, Ichiro, Cabrera, Wisdom. Come on, autograph. Lost Languages, Plains Apache Language, that's kind of neat. Was it uh, Alan and Ginter that used to have the uh, those glow-in-the-dark uh, yes. constellation cards? Yeah. Doesn't seem like they're doing that this no. year. No. Those were cool. Last, I have a couple of those. last couple years, they were doing these mini cards that had glow-in-the-dark constellations on them. You take them into a dark room, and they glow. The constellation glows off the card. It's pretty neat. For some reason, they didn't do that again.
Mike Trout, baseball star signs right there. He's a Leo. Mike Trout's, Mike Trout's a Leo. He likes long walks on the beach, and he hates arrogant women. Okay. <laughs> Ozzy Albee's relic. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> we'll be right back in two and two. <laughs> Ozzy Albee's, all right. Uh, Atlanta Braves belong to Ivan. Ivan A, there you go, a little something for you at least. Plus all the other Braves cards that come out. Ten packs left in this break, folks. Ten packs left. Then we're going to take a short hiatus and come back around 4 o'clock for Optic. That should be fun. AB93, I'm sure you can take all the relics you pulled and make a real jersey. Yeah, it does seem that way. All right, here's a relic coming up. It looks like it's got a different color frame on it, which is a good sign. Looks like it's got more of a yellow frame on it. That usually means something, right? <laughs> you guys see that? It's behind Tony Gwynn. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's hand numbered. That's a good sign. 7 out of 10. Hand numbered 7 out of 10 is always a good sign. That's a red auto. It's a red, should be a red auto. You're right. Oh, boy. It's somebody who's not wearing a baseball cap. I can see the part in their hair. Oh, it looks like it's the little girl, isn't it? Tell me she signed this card. That is awesome. <laughs> the one autograph we get, and it's Haley Dawson. Little Haley Dawson. I have no idea who she is. First pitch celebrity. I guess she threw out the first pitch somewhere, and uh, I don't really know what happened. She either did really well or really poorly, or maybe just looked really cute. But Haley, little Haley Dawson, can anybody tell me what happened? She threw out the first pitch at the all 30 major league stadiums. She threw out the first pitch in all 30 major league stadiums? She's also born with Poland syndrome, and she's missing fingers on her right hand and so I think she has like a, uh, a prosthetic oh hand. yeah yeah I think I've seen that she's somewhere got robotic, she's got, she's a, got a, a robotic hand, hand yeah. on the right side you can yeah. see right there I wonder how old she is she looks like she's maybe about eight years old does it say how old she is Nine. that's cool I wonder which hand she signs with decent signature actually she's a nine-year-old according to uh, computer back there yeah, Crushing Creation says she has a prosthetic hand thrown out the pitch at all ballparks. That's cool. That's definitely a dream come true, Bodie. I'd love to throw out a first pitch at a ballpark. So that could be the one otter. That probably is the one otter because we only have like eight packs left to open. Haley Dawson, that's kind of neat. And that's going to the bonus spot winner, which was Ryan F. Cool. Yeah, definitely neat. Definitely neat. And that's an example of the kind of stuff you can get from Alan and Alan and Ginter. It's kind of a really cool. some some cool surprises in there. Last year or two years ago, we had a collector who uh, purchased a box from us online, and then sent me a picture. He pulled a cut signature one of one of Bing Crosby, which was cool. Kids, if you don't know who Bing Crosby is, go look up some clips of his on YouTube. One of the smoothest voices. He's a singer and actor. One of the most famous actors of all time and singers. Have you ever heard the song, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know? That's Bing Crosby right there. Another Ricky Henderson. If you haven't seen the movie White Christmas, you got to watch it. UAI with a $2 super chat. Thanks, man. Or whoa, man. I'm not sure. UAI, you're my favorite. Keep hitting dingers. I'm going to do my best, buddy. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. You guys, check out UAI. I pulled it last year. I pulled it. Appreciate the super chat. All right. Last pack in the break. I'll show off just a couple of the major hits. I'm not going to show off all of them. Nothing crazy in that last pack. And there's a first look at Topps, Allen, and Ginter. Uh, we got two couple most interesting hits here. Where they, we just saw the Haley Dawson red autograph numbered out of 10. The Gil Hodges bat card right here was pretty neat. And then out of those six boxes, we found two rip cards. The one on the left is a double rip card. How's that doing? The one on the left is a double rip card. Piazza on front, Posey on back. And wouldn't you know it, the same participant is getting both rip cards because he got matched up with the Dodgers and the Phillies. What a lucky guy. Attila. Yeah. So, Attila, if you're watching this at some point, we're going to get in contact with you because there's a couple Ricky Henderson based cards that I might might want to trade for if we can. And and Brandon might be interested because he's a big Posey fan. He might want to make you a trade or an offer on the uh, on the rip card because it's got Posey on the back side. But that's pretty sick. That is pretty sick right there. There's our first look. At the 2019 Tops Allen and Ginter, again, if uh, you missed out on this break, you can pick up a box of Allen and Ginter on our website, right on the home page. Visit HalloFameBaseballCards.com. And we just put up a full case break of the upcoming Tops Chrome Jumbo. 40 autographs in a case. That's some high-end stuff. It's only for the serious, my friends. It's only for the serious. You want to get serious? You're going to want to collect Tops Chrome Jumbo. And with that, I'm going to bid a fond to do for about 30 minutes. We're going to take about a 30-minute break, and we'll be, be we'll be back right after 4 p.m. to execute 2019 Panini Optic Baseball on this release day of that product as well. Thanks, everyone, who participated in this break. We love you guys. We sincerely appreciate your support through participation. And thanks to everyone who's watching and keeping it positive in the chat. We'll see you in about 30 minutes, folks. Visit Hall of Fame Baseball Cards.com in the meantime. Pick up a break spot or a box of Allen and Ginter or a box of Optic. See you soon. Peace.